enzymes can be fantastic catalysts for creating new organic molecules. I'm here to meet Kylie Vincent and her team who are working on a way to quickly and cleanly recycle the expensive cofactors that some of those enzymes rely on. The chemical industry are increasingly interested in making use of enzymes from biological cells to help with the synthesis of difficult chemicals, whether that's pharmaceuticals or flavour fragrance molecules, for example. Um, but one of the major problems in the sort of enzymes that are useful for acting as catalysts for synthesis of those chemicals um, is that many of them are reliant on a cofactor called NADH, um, which is a hydride carrier molecule, and it's often more expensive than the molecule you're trying to produce through a chemical process. And so if you're going to use enzymes in synthesis, you need cheap ways of recycling that cofactor NADH. So you don't have to keep buying more of it. That's right, that's right. And the use of enzymes uh, can add a lot of benefits in chemical synthesis because it allows you to produce chemicals more selectively, more cheaply and often more greenly because it's, it's, the reactions can be carried out in water, um, avoiding polluting solvents. So what is needed are ways of recycling this cofactor. This is our particle here, um, any kind of carbon really, and these are our three enzymes that we've immobilised onto the particle. This is our NADH dependent enzyme and that's more there for convenience um, so that we can handle these as, as beads rather than as enzymes in solution. But the, the, the second use of this particle is for actually making the um, an electronic link. So this enzyme is a hydrogenase which is able to split hydrogen into protons and electrons and it's actually got some electron relay centres inside its protein structure and that means the electrons can be taken from the active site, so from hydrogen, and put into this particle through this, we put it here, like plugging it in um, to this particle. And this second enzyme, the NAD reductase, is able to use electrons to, to reduce NAD back to NADH. So it takes two electrons and a proton from solution and packages them as, an, as, a, as a hydride, and it's able to put them back on NAD plus to make NADH. And that's also kind of, it can take the electrons from this, from this particle um, and that means that we're essentially getting a flow of electrons through this particle. So why is it important to have three different enzymes that do the different steps? Rather, Is there not one enzyme that will do all of it? There is actually one enzyme, one type of enzyme in nature that will couple the oxidation of hydrogen to the reduction of the cofactor NAD. But by doing this in a modular way, we're able to find the right enzyme for the for particular um, conditions required for any given reaction. So if we want to be able to do the reaction in the presence of oxygen, we can choose a very oxygen tolerant um, hydrogen oxidizing enzyme. If we want to be able to do the reaction under specific pH or temperature conditions, we can choose enzymes that are tuned for those conditions. So it allows us to have a completely modular approach where we can plug in whichever enzyme is required. So on a day-to-day -day basis, um, there's lots of, we use lots of centrifuges. So a centrifuge allows us to really easily separate the particles from solution, um, which is actually a real bonus because it means in an industrial setup, you can just take your particles out of solution and put them back in um, and then reuse them if you need to. We have a lovely electrochemical setup as well that we use in this glove box. Um, and the glove box has a nitrogen atmosphere and it's not necessarily that we don't want oxygen, um, although sometimes we don't, but it also allows us to really nicely control exactly what gas atmosphere our reaction is seeing. So we can flow through mixtures of hydrogen and oxygen or just put hydrogen in um, to really understand what's happening under these different gas atmospheres. Well, at the moment we're still at laboratory stage demonstration. We've shown that the concept works for attaching three enzymes onto carbon beads and using hydrogen gas to drive the transformation of various organic molecules and we're now working with several companies to see whether we can demonstrate these carbon beads modified with enzymes working for different reactions that really have industrial relevance and that ranges from the pharmaceutical sector right through to um, forming simple chemical building blocks from biomass waste.